could be If you know the extension number of the person you require, please press 2. If you require a custody of weeks, please press 3. For inquiries relating to a speeding offence, six penalty notice, or camera safety inquiry, please press 4. For all other inquiries, please hold for an operator. Uh, no, that's okay. I just had I need to some advice about uh, approaching the uh, local police in another country with reference to. Uh, I don't know whether that's advisable to talk in detail, and I really need some advice. Let, let me talk you through to one of the operators. Okay, thank you.
Your call is in the queue. But you may be waiting for an extended period before it is asked. Your call is important to us. Please listen while the queue is heard in action. However, a callback is and will be offered to you if your call is not answered within 15 minutes. Oh, hi there. I just had a query, a uh, reference, some advice I just received as to how to deal with. Um, uh, some harassment I'm experiencing from the UK in Cambridge. Uh, this, uh, those individuals who are carrying out the harassment uh, belong to GCHQ. Um, and I've named them in an email I sent to you. Um, but I was told by the person dealing with the case that um, I had to supply evidence to the local uh, police, uh, which is in a man, Jordan. I'm currently in a man, Jordan. Um, the trouble in doing that is that um, I would be providing names and so on, uh, and he's advising me to break the Official Secrets Act, in other words. Right, okay. I am a little bit lost already, <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you have a reference number at all? Uh, yes, it's 313-08. Uh, uh, right, it should be a date, and then an incident number. So is 08 the date? Uh, yes, it is, yes. Yes. So three or three of the eighth of November. Yes, that's it. Okay, hold on a moment. Okay, thank you. And what's your name, sir? Uh, George Kent, like the county. Okay, thank you very much. Are you alright for just quickly read the incident if that's okay? Yeah, sure, no problem, no problem. Thank you. Alright, hold on a moment. Sorry, you no, that's okay. Can you read it out loud as well? It's just I didn't, I haven't heard the whole thing, and I didn't receive the email because it we, was. We wouldn't do that to me. I can't prove who you are, so it's not. I would just read this, and then I'll deal with what you've got to tell me as well. Ah, okay. Let me can't read that. Hold on a moment. Okay, no problem. Okay, so even though the incident's on the system, it still does, it's not really 100% clear. Do you, do you mind just starting from the beginning as to what exactly has happened while you're calling the police? Sorry. Um, well, it, it's to do with harassment I experienced since, uh, in earnest, since the 22nd of October 2013 by members of GCHQ who are... What is GCHQ? Sorry. Uh, General Communications Headquarters. They're sort of one of the intelligence agencies. Okay. Um, and... Basically, they've, uh, they're part of the Secret Service, to put it in oh, colloquial right. terms. Um, yep. And they've been uh, harassing me uh, electronically and in person uh, throughout various countries ever since I left the college. Yeah, the harassment right. started in the college and it, um, it continued yep. wherever I went. Um, right. Um, so what sort of communication is this that you're getting from them then? Um, well, it's in person. I have certain audio recordings and I have certain evidence on my computer related to the harassment. 
Um, well, what are they saying? What is it that they're uh, like Well, it's, it's, it's stuff online. I'm being stalked online. I can recognise who the people are because there are various techniques whereby you can do that. Uh, I can be stalked online with what, sorry, sir? What uh, is the details that they're sending to you? Uh, well, just uh, mentioning a confidential stuff and so on. It's not important. Stuff I've sent to, uh, what is it, MI6, you know, diagnosis and so on. Um, right. Uh, that kind of thing, and just sort of, um, yeah, just, just sort of uh, stalking online and interfering with my bank uh, transfers, and um, yeah, just that kind of thing. Right. Um, I, I sent an email giving a whole list, basically. But one of the things that happened in England, I was uh, poisoned on multiple occasions. Right. Um, that I saw one of the people do it. Unfortunately, it didn't register at the time, and he put stuff in my coffee, uh, and I felt ill. On one of those occasions, I ended up in hospital because of it. Um, and right. um, the feeling was always the same whenever someone had tampered with my uh, coffee, tobacco, or the medication I was on. Um, and it continued after, um, after I left the hospital. But basically, I ended up in hospital because of it. Um, and the harassment has included people pursuing me throughout Europe, um, and it has included in Germany people trying to uh, get hold of um, what well, they were trying to mug me basically to get hold of the work. The harassment is occurring because they want to get hold of a project I'm working on, right. and, and it's on my laptop. Right. Well, uh, when I got off uh, the train at Germany, where there were people trying to, to mug me, um, this was at four in the morning, and there was no one in the car park, in the train car park, and I got off the train, I went down the stairs, and a car pulled up, and he stared at me, uh, and then he started doing something on his mobile. And Hi. within about ten minutes, um, I had people sort of trying to walk up very fast behind me, and to get hold of my rucksack. This is similar to what happened within Cambridge. And it started right. within Cambridge. And I know the people who are responsible. What's that last bit? I missed that. I know the people who are responsible. And I've named them in, oh, an, right. okay. I've named them in an email. Uh, but essentially... Which email? Is it an email you sent to ourselves? Uh, yes. I mean, I, I previously called to ascertain whether you actually received it. Because you sent me an email. And it said... Email failed. Oh, you keep breaking up, sir. Sorry. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, the alleg list of allegations um, that I've made are contained within an email, um, and right. which I sent you. I'm not sure you've actually received it, though, um, because an email you sent to me, I didn't receive. Right, okay. So... What are you wanting to do now? Tell us the name of the people responsible for this. Uh, well, no, I, I can't under the... Uh, I have through the email. But my question is, the police said he couldn't do anything about the harassment. It had to be done through the local police here. Uh, yeah. uh, the trouble is, in doing that, I would have to supply, supply names and so on. Um, right. And in doing so, I would be breaking a UK law called the Official Secrets Act. So he's advising me to break a UK law. Um, and Who's I'm you there? Uh, the policeman, uh, the person who was dealing with my case. Um, in England. Uh, sorry, yeah, in England, in Cambridge. Right. Uh, okay. And I'm wondering whether you're you're happy about that, because it doesn't seem to well, me. Well, that has that has to be your decision. But the thing is, is that if if this has happened in Germany, when did these happen in Cambridge? Uh, they happened over a period between the 22nd of March. Sorry, the 22nd of October 2013 to the 21st yeah. of July 2014. So how many times during that time frame did this happen? Um, in terms of the harassment, it happened well over a thousand. Um, right, okay. Um, and no one was willing to deal with it at the time. Um, I didn't actually know it was GC, GCHQ behind it uh, at the time. See, what would be good is if you were to report this to your day and police, tell them what happened, not mention the names of the people, mm. but just to give a statement as to exactly what happened, because it is a little bit confusing as to how this has all come about. I mean, it's very unusual circumstances, if I'm mm. honest. 
So that's why I think if you're dealt with by a police officer there, but, don't mention their name, you can send it to a fire email again. Uh, I have actually uh, mentioned in broad generalities what's going on, but in order to provide evidence as required, which is on my laptop, um, I will have to um, I will have to name names because they'll know, right. uh, and I, in doing so, I'll be breaking the law. Is that actually a, a law? Uh, the Official Secrets Act is yes. It's it's forbidden to reveal the names and identities of uh, individuals who re uh, belong to the intelligence services. Uh, right, so these are people that what, they're your colleagues basically are they? Uh, they're people within the college, yes. The college, which college? St Catherine's College. Yeah. It's been the harassment is being directed from there. They're misusing the powers they have uh, to get hold of a project. So when is this project going to be finished? Uh, well, I've got it here, um, and I'm trying to, you know, make deals with whoever. Um, but I know GCHQ have a department. Well, they have certain powers whereby they can destroy business relationships. Um, I've actually got the file, um, one of the, it's contained within one, within one of the Snowden files, basically. So there's that as well. Okay, when are you coming back to Cambridge, any time soon? Well, this is what I'm trying to ascertain. In order to come back to the UK, um, I have to see to it that the harassment stops. Um, unfortunately, no one within the police, within your police, is willing to deal with it. They're telling me to go... I mean, Sorry? i tell you what would be a really good way to deal with it is because it is, uh, if I'm really honest, it is a little bit all over the place. You're trying to decide exactly what's happened and the circumstances mm. in certain situations. I do think the best thing for you to do is either go to the Jordanian police or if not, email us directly with a full statement as to exactly what's happened and the circumstances. And we might be able to understand a little bit more of what we're actually dealing with. Mm. And that, well, I mean... My trouble is you're telling me to go to the Jordanian police to provide the evidence. And in doing so, you're, you're telling me to break the law. Um, I'm not asking you to give names. I haven't said that. So if you want to give a, a statement to them, but without just oh. calling them like Peter or Joseph rather than actual full names, mm. then we'll deal with it that way. Then you can just email us the names of the people that, that are responsible for it. Yeah, I, I mean, I have already done that, you see. It's just I haven't named names to the Jordanian police. Okay. Um, but can you do the other suggestion then? send us a statement of exactly what it is that you're reporting to us. Okay, so you'd rather I didn't go to the Jordanian police, I take it? If well, it's up to you. You're saying you don't want to go there. Do you no, want no, to go I've, 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 I've said I've, I've been there and I provided a general statement. Uh, right. What, what I'm saying is I can't, in order for them to, you know, to have a look at the evidence, uh, that I would have to name names. Uh, okay. So it's not... Didn't happen there. I don't think that they would necessarily deal with it themselves, didn't they? They would probably pass it on to the embassy of the county of the country of where it happened. So if that's Germany or England, then they would send it to ourselves, so we would deal with it anyway. Yes, but I, I, what, what I'm saying, sorry, I'm, it's just I, I've I've told them in generalities, and they say they can't deal with it. I've actually been to see them. If I go to them and, and um, as you suggest, and provide evidence, um, I'll be breaking the Official Secrets Act. Right, so, okay, um, so the evidence involves their names, doesn't it? Uh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Right, okay. So, so as I said earlier, when are you planning on coming back to England? Any uh, time soon? Uh, well, when this whole thing is sorted out, because if I come back to the UK, um, I'm, I rather have concerns about my safety. Right, okay. So your, your choice to start is to speak to the people that, um, that you know, where this official secret act is, the people that you employ you as such, you need to go to them and say, am I able to in this circumstance because I'm being harassed? Um, can I give this detail? Or are you saying that they are the offenders in this? Uh, yes, I am. I'm saying the people within St. Catherine's College are the offenders. And it doesn't matter right, if okay. I go to them, I will be breaking the law if I mention their names to the Jordanian police. In order to what provide... What can you tell us about it? Mm -hmm. Would you be breaking the law then? Uh, uh, I, well, I, I, I don't consider there's any other option. Um, I, so I think in that case, presumably you've already answered your own question, you'd have to tell that to the Jordanian police, wouldn't you? Um, yes, in order, I'm just saying that I can't, um, if I provide them evidence, I'll be breaking the act. If I provide it to you, as I have done, um, mm -hmm. I think that's, that's less likely.
but in providing it to a foreign police force, that's um, right. uh, that wouldn't be acceptable. Right, okay. No, I agree with you on that. I, I understand what you're saying, but so, it's just how we're going to get around this now. I, I really don't understand exactly the circumstances you're reporting to me. Uh, if I give you the email address, could you please do us a statement and email us the full statement of what you're reporting to the police? Yeah, sure. What's the email? Is that right? Yes. Okay. So it's 301... Three... 301. Yeah, that's 301, by the way, sorry. Mm -hmm. At CAMBS, C A M B S. Yes. Dot PNM, which is Papert November, November. Uh -huh. uh, hang on. Mm -hmm. uh, comes up here. Dot police. Dot UK. Yes. So, in essence, you'll be, able, you'll be able to deal with it rather than the Jordanian police. I don't know, because I don't. I don't really understand exactly what the circumstances are, so I think that's why you need to email me the full statement. Okay. And put in there the incident number, and I'll give it to you in full, and then we can assess it, and then we may be able to email you and tell you how we're going to progress it, if at all. Okay. Okay. All right, so it's, it's full incident, so it's easy to find. Uh -huh. If you write down there CC for Charlie Charlie, uh -huh. then there's a dash, and then it's the date of 08 11 2015. Oh, yeah, CCH 08. 2015, yeah? Yeah, then the dash, then 0313. 0313. 0313. So it's CC, Charlie Charlie, then it's the date of 08 11 2015, mm -hmm. dash 0313. Okay, does that go through to you at all? It will do. I'll, I'll make sure that it does come through to me, yeah. Okay, can, is it right if I ring you up again and to check whether it's actually arrived? Say again? Um... Is it right if I verify whether it's actually arrived, the email? Well, it will email you back once it does um, arrive. We'll just email you to say we've received it, yes, I, and then you just wait to hear from it. Well, I, 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 I explained that um, the email you sent was blocked previously. It didn't arrive. And I need to well, be... Well, you want to ring me when you've actually typed out there, because presumably it's going to be a lengthy statement. So uh, once you've actually typed it, do you want to call it? Uh, yeah. Uh, what's your, what's, do you mind if I ask for an extension number at all? There isn't an extension, unfortunately, but if you quote that incident number, we'll be able to find it. So if I'm not on duty, because I'll be going home shortly, okay. we can update the incident for you. Okay, well, thank you very much. And they'll be able to verify right. the email they've received the email then? Yeah, I'll ask that they do do that. Okay, well, thank you very much. All thank right. you. Thanks, Bye. sir. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Sasha, 
financial dealings the commission. This time. Thank <laughs> you. 